Hey guys, welcome to Sydney Sea Life Aquarium. My name is Kerry and I am the supervisor of dugongs here at OC2. Now we don't just look after dugongs here, we have lots of other animals that live in this enclosure and as you can see right now, we've got some of our oscillated eagle rays behind me swimming around. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about our oscillated eagle rays. We have 10 rays here at the aquarium. You'll see them circling around behind me. We have eight adults. They're actually quite big, so you'll see when they go past. And then we have two little babies that are about 12 months old now, and then a little in between are Annie. And so Annie is probably about two years now, so she's our in between ray. She's about this big. Um, so these guys, uh, as you can see, they're very graceful. They're swimming mid-water and they often get confused for manta rays. So a lot of people say, oh, these are manta rays. Now they do have some similarities in the way they move, but they are different types of animals. So one of the differences are these uh, eagle rays do have barbs at the base of their tail. It's a little bit hard to see. So just where their tail meets their body, there are some venomous spines and the manta rays don't have these. So that's one of the differences between the animals. Another is size. These ones are fully grown. You can see swimming, well, not this one, but these are fully grown rays. Uh, and so the manta rays, when they're fully grown, are actually up to, depending on the species, around seven meters wide. So much, much bigger than these rays. Uh, some of the cool things about these animals are they're really smart. So they're actually participating in a training program that we have here at the aquarium. And so these animals are learning how to touch a target, how to come to a recall. They're learning how to swim on their own into a sling and be lifted out of the water. So they can participate in their own medical procedures with no stress, nice and easy. So that's amazing. A lot of people don't think aquatic animals like fish and sharks and rays that live in the water have that kind of intelligence. They always think of that as being terrestrial animals, but they're actually really, really smart. Now these guys, we feed them a range of different foods. And so you can see their mouth is underneath their body like it is typically with rays, which is a bit different to sharks that can have them positioned more towards the front of their face. And uh, so they eat off the ground generally. Uh, they have very, very strong crushing plates. And so what they'll do is go around on the ground, find some food like a mussel or some uh, crustaceans. And it's so powerful that if you're standing in the tunnel and they're swimming past you as they eat you can hear the crunching of the shells so they're really powerful jaws when we're training them we tend to feed them things like squid that is the poor squids of the ocean everybody loves squid it's such a great reward so um, that's a really positive thing to feed them we can also feed them things like pilchards yellowtails mussels prawns um, bonito chunks so they get a whole range of things in their training session which they love so we even leave the heads on animals because it's so healthy for them to be able to, like I said, utilize those strong jaws and crunch up the bones in the animal. So it's really good for them to actually eat the bones as well. Okay, so people sometimes ask me, do sharks and rays sleep? And that's a great question because what do they do? They're moving all the time. These guys are able to go into rest periods and what they do is sort of turn parts of their brain off. It's a little bit um, tricky. They don't lay down and go to sleep like we do. And of course, they don't have eyelids either. So they are constantly uh, aware of things going on around them, but they go into these rest periods where they just coast along. Um, you can see they're not as responsive as normal and they're just really conserving energy and letting their body go through the same sort of processes that we would while we're sleeping. So they are resting, but not sleeping like humans do. Okay, guys, thank you so much for listening. If you would like to dive any deeper into any more information, come and grab any of the staff in the Dugong kitchen. We'll be happy to answer more of your questions.